Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and uh, Virgo Rising. Weekly tarot reading, May 13th to May 19th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we can go straight away to the spread. Okay, so uh, the first card, which is marking the topic of your week, that is going to be the Page of Wands, followed by the second card, which is the challenge on the of the week, that is going to be the Page of Swords, third card, which is uh, the uh, what helps you throughout the week, that is going to be the Nine of Pentacles, and the last card that we do have, that is to be the Guidance here, and we have the Knight of Cups. Hmm, very interesting. All right, so once again, uh, the topic is going to be the Page of Wands, followed by the challenge here, this is going to be the Page of Swords. After that, what we do have is going to be the, what helps you throughout the week or the positivity, that is going to be the Nine of Pentacles. And the last one is Guidance, Knight of Cups. <clears throat> So uh, it looks like that you're going to be torn in between these two pages, um, Page of Wands and Page of Swords. Which Page of Wands is someone that uh, you either recently got introduced to or you are about to get introduced to this week and Page of Swords is someone that you already know, all right? So uh, to me, what it looks like is that this Page of Swords, which it is, I a bit younger than you are, should I say. I, I, I don't want to uh, classify uh, court card by, uh, by its standing, you know, but usually manifest itself as a younger woman, okay? It's going to be severely aggravated uh, that you are paying attention to the page of swords and uh, to the page of wands, which is a uh, another person. And... Um, you know, it's going to cause problems, it's going to cause predicaments for you. Uh, mainly manifesting themselves as the confrontations and scandals, that is. So going to the first card, which is uh, the uh, topic of your week, that uh, the page of wands, it's pointing a, a very enterprising person, a person who is very young in spirit, that is, and it's... it's um, it likes to be the center of the company, okay? Uh, it, manif it can manifest itself either as a suitor, it could manifest itself as a friend, you know, or as a potential, you know, person of interest, etc., etc. You need to know, however, that these people that are uh, presented as the page of wands, they are, uh, how can I express it? They, they look very tough outside. It's like nothing can really hurt them. I mean, uh, let's say that you do have a, a romantic intentions in between each other. There are sparks in between each other. That person could uh, make an, an impression in you that they don't really care if that relationship is going to happen or not. That is their outer look. But within themselves, deep down within, they are very, very fragile. So when you tackle with them, 
uh, be mindful what you are saying, okay? Because like I said, they are very fragile and their ego, it is the most, it is the virtue of them, okay? So if you don't want, if you for sure want to, to lose them, then just hurt their ego and they will be gone. But apart from that, it is very versatile person, like I said, and a, a person who is willing to try out. That is the best thing about the Page of Wands. You know, and they are not scared to take an initiative as well. The accompanied card here that is going to be the Two of Pentacles. So the formation that we do have, it is a uh, active uh, neutrals. And it looks like that this page, which is very surprising, does have a plan. Okay, so if they are um, empathizing with you, uh, it means that they are finding something, something really special about you. It's not like they're doing it for the shits and giggles, all right? It's not like they're doing it because they don't have anything else better to do, but because they truly find find a value within you and they do have a plan about you, how they are to fit you in their uh, grand scheme of things or uh, in their relationship status as well. Uh, the next card, which is the challenge that you will have to overcome is yet another person that will be the page of swords so this one it is rather aggravated by the appearance of the first one and they kind of like they don't find the company of the first one very suitable for you for it that could be for numerous reasons either because they want you for themselves either because they are overly protective you know or because you know they are finding that person page of wands quite inappropriate for the social circle or the collective that you are finding yourself at and make no mistake this this page of swords is going to confront the situation i mean they're they're going to um hold you accountable, if I may say it that way, why you are paying so much attention to the page of wands, to the first person here who has plans for you. The accompanied card that is going to be the Tree of Pentacles. And uh, we do have a an, um, active enemies. So that is a bit rough, guys. I mean, this, this really looks as an ultimatum to me. I, truly is what happens uh it is that when the page of swords uh manifests itself and confronts you that person confronts you the things are gonna reach a, a stage where that page of swords is gonna say okay you gotta choose either me or the page of wands all right you gotta choose you can have only one of us not both of us and that will be a, a stage where you will have to decide which one you want to associate yourself moving on uh, forward. Unfortunately, with these cards, especially with, with the Nine of Pentacles at the uh, next position, I don't see a way how you can um, maintain the uh, harmonious flow of relationship with the Page of Swords and in the same time, you know, start building up a relationship with the Page of Wands. It's just they kind of like exclude one another. So uh, it, it looks like to me that apart from being torn in between two people, you also, uh, throughout the week, you have to decide which one you you want to um, pledge allegiance to, if I may express myself that way. So uh, the next card that we do have, that is to be the Nine of Pentacles, and that is what helps you throughout the week. So Nine of Pentacles here points that you need to, uh, well, it points that this week is going to be a week of conquest for you. So the, the card itself urges you to um, go with the Page of Wands, all right? I'm just speaking by the interpretation of the cards because the card points you that this new conquest of yours or the uh, opportunity for a conquest, it is a, a very positive thing. Uh, and uh, it points as well that this endeavor of yours, this new person of yours, <clears throat> It's going to be a big fish in regards to you. I mean, it's going to have a, uh, how can I place it? It's going to have a, a big um, outlook in regards to uh, your future development, especially if we're talking about a business involvement. All right. So let's say you're working over a project. Um, suddenly, um, someone new starts performing into the project and into your project and this 
previous coworker of yours approaches you and say, you got to choose, you know, you either going to work with this one or you're going to work with me. You can't have both of us working, uh, working with you and you got to choose. Well, this card here advises you to choose in the favor for the newness. Okay. Because it does express new endeavors and it does express conquests. And that is the conquest, this uh, new person of yours. Uh, the accompanied card that is going to be the uh, Knights of Wands. So the formation here, it is a passive neutrals that we do have. And actually a good, uh, a good combo because it does point that <clears throat> this week is going to deprive you from making risks. Uh, while in the same time, it's going to be very easy uh, for you what is necessary in order to uh, achieve further development, either in regards to your relationship status or either in regards to your uh, to your career. And additionally to that, um, you will start kind of like, how can I express it? You will start realizing that you are more independent than you thought you are from the Page of Swords. Okay, from the person that it is challenging you here with this ultimatum, you will start leaning more to leave that person's side because as they are placing you an ultimatum, that means that they are manipulating you in any way they can, which is actually very true for the Page of uh, Swords because they are very good presenting you fictions as facts. So um, it seems that this week is going to be as well a process that you are going to um, replace a person who is manipulating you with someone that is willing to experience new ent enterprises with you. And the final card that we do have, that is going to be the uh, guidance that Tarot has for you. And we have the um, Ace of Cups. So Ace of Cups, uh, uh, the Knights of Cups, excuse me. So the Knights of Cups, first of all, um, urges you to do whatever you please, okay? Because the Knights, holds the cup in front of him and in front of himself, excuse me, and is following that cup. And the cup is manifestation of the positive emotional experience of the knight. So knight only moves toward a positive emotional experience. And when one presents you with an ultimatum, obviously this is a negative emotional experience. So you strain from that and move toward a, a positive emotional experience. But additionally to that, the knight here it does says that you will have to work for it all right it is not just only enough to associate yourself with someone who is versatile and someone who is willing to try but you will have to be willing to try as well so uh with this card i could uh, predict here that there will be also some um differences in between you and the page of wands but the exciting thing is going to be that you can achieve a common ground you know and you can align yourself with this person and learn something new because the knight as well expresses that you will become good at new fields in your life especially true if we're talking about career or this reading um, manifest itself in regards to career for you and yeah look at that so uh, we have the page the ace of pentacles well basically uh, this card points that this new person that comes around um, or that steps out is going to be a, a rare opportunity for you to further your goal, regardless if that is going to be a goal regard relationships or regard career. And you will have the harmonious flow into that relationship and will allow you to establish a, a successful a business start or a successful business milestone depends once again on where uh, this person manifests itself either as a business partner a good co-worker you know or a, a potential suitor of yours so that being said uh, Virgo this was your weekly tarot reading May 13 to May 19 2019 um, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, we're going to see each other uh, next time until then bye